The RMS Titanic, a name synonymous with both opulence and tragedy, has captivated the world's imagination for over a century. This grand vessel, once the epitome of luxury and human engineering, now lies in the depths of the ocean, a silent witness to a bygone era. The Titanic's story is not just one of a ship, but of the people who sailed on her, the dreams they carried, and the fateful night that changed everything. Its watery grave, lying two and a half miles beneath the surface of the North Atlantic, has become a solemn pilgrimage site for explorers and treasure hunters alike. The wreck, shrouded in darkness and mystery, continues to draw those who seek to uncover its secrets, to touch a piece of history frozen in time. Each visit to the Titanic is a journey into the past, a chance to connect with the stories of those who perished and those who survived. In June 2023, a small submersible named Titan embarked on a journey to revisit this iconic shipwreck, carrying with it the dreams of its passengers and the hopes of a company pushing the boundaries of underwater exploration. The mission was not just a technical endeavor, but a deeply personal quest for many on board, each with their own reasons for wanting to see the Titanic up close. OceanGate, the company behind the Titan, promised an experience like no other, a chance to come face to face with history, to peer through the portholes of time. Their vision was to make deep sea exploration accessible, to allow ordinary people to witness the extraordinary. The promise of such an adventure was irresistible, drawing in those with a thirst for knowledge and a desire to push their own limits. The submersible, a technological marvel in its own right, was built to withstand the immense pressure of the deep, its carbon fiber hull a testament to human ingenuity. Engineers and scientists worked tirelessly to ensure that Titan could endure the harsh conditions of the ocean's depths, combining cutting-edge technology with meticulous craftsmanship. The result was a vessel that represented the pinnacle of modern engineering. But as the world would soon learn, even the most advanced technology can be vulnerable to the unforgiving forces of nature. The ocean is a realm of immense power and unpredictability, where human creations are often tested to their limits. The challenges faced by submersibles are numerous, from crushing pressures to treacherous currents, and even the smallest oversight can have catastrophic consequences. The Titan's mission, however, was about more than just reaching the Titanic. It was a testament to human curiosity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Each dive was an opportunity to gather data, to learn more about the ocean's depths, and to push the boundaries of what we know about our planet. It was about pushing the boundaries of human exploration, about venturing into the unknown depths of our planet. The ocean, covering more than 70% of the Earth's surface, remains one of the last great frontiers. Exploring its depths is not just about discovery, but about understanding our world and our place within it. It was about the insatiable thirst for discovery that has driven mankind since the dawn of time. From the earliest explorers who set sail into uncharted waters to the astronauts who ventured into space, the desire to explore and understand the unknown is a fundamental part of the human spirit. The Titan's mission was a continuation of this legacy, a modern-day voyage into the depths of the Earth. The eyes of the world watched as the Titan began its descent, its crew a mix of seasoned explorers and wealthy adventurers, all united by a shared passion for the deep. Each member of the crew brought their own unique perspective and expertise, contributing to the collective effort to reach the Titanic. Their journey was a blend of science, adventure, and personal ambition, a microcosm of the broader human quest for knowledge. Little did they know that their journey would become a cautionary tale, a stark reminder of the risks inherent in exploring the final frontier on Earth. The story of the Titan serves as a poignant reminder that while the pursuit of knowledge and adventure is noble, it is also fraught with danger. The ocean, with all its beauty and mystery, remains a powerful and unpredictable force one that demands respect and caution from those who dare to explore its depths. At the heart of the Titan tragedy lies a story of ambition, pressure, and the delicate balance between innovation and safety. The Titan submersible, a marvel of modern engineering, was designed to push the boundaries of deep sea exploration. However, this ambitious project was not without its risks and challenges. Tony Nissen, the lead engineer for OceanGate, emerged as a key figure in the aftermath of the disaster, his testimony providing chilling insights into the events that led to the submersible's fatal implosion. Neeson's words painted a vivid picture of the internal struggles and conflicts that plagued the project. 
Neeson, a seasoned engineer with a passion for underwater exploration, joined OceanGate with a vision to build the world's most advanced submersible. His extensive background in marine engineering made him an invaluable asset to the team, and he was deeply committed to the success of the Titan project. He poured his heart and soul into the Titan project, meticulously overseeing its design and construction. Every detail, from the materials used to the structural integrity, was scrutinized under his watchful eye. Neeson's dedication was evident in the countless hours he spent ensuring that the submersible met the highest standards of safety and performance. But as the project progressed, Neeson began to harbor growing concerns about the vessel's safety, particularly the integrity of its carbon fiber hull. The use of carbon fiber, while innovative, posed unique challenges that required careful consideration and rigorous testing. In his testimony, Neeson revealed that he had repeatedly voiced his concerns to OceanGate CEO Stockton Rush, urging him to conduct more rigorous testing on the hull. Neeson's warnings were not just casual remarks, they were based on his deep understanding of the potential risks involved. Neeson argued that the submersible's unconventional design, particularly its use of carbon fiber, necessitated a more cautious approach. He believed that the innovative material, while promising, had not been sufficiently tested under the extreme conditions the Titan would face. He warned that the immense pressure at the depths the Titan was designed to reach could potentially compromise the hull, leading to catastrophic consequences. Neeson's concerns were rooted in the fundamental principles of engineering and safety, principles that he felt were being overlooked in the rush to achieve groundbreaking results. Despite Neeson's pleas, his concerns were reportedly dismissed by Rush, who was determined to meet project deadlines and keep costs down. The CEO's focus on innovation and efficiency often clashed with Neeson's emphasis on safety and thorough testing. Rush, a firm believer in pushing technological boundaries, argued that traditional testing methods were too time-consuming and expensive. He was confident that the Titan's design was robust enough to withstand the pressures of the deep sea, and he saw Neeson's caution as an impediment to progress. He maintained that the Titan's design was sound and that Neeson's concerns were unfounded. Rush's unwavering belief in the project's success ultimately led to a tragic oversight, one that would have devastating consequences for all involved. The Titan tragedy serves as a stark reminder of the importance of balancing innovation with safety and the critical need for thorough testing and validation in any ambitious engineering endeavor. On June 18, 2023, after months of meticulous preparation and mounting anticipation, the Titan embarked on its fateful dive to the Titanic wreckage. This mission was the culmination of years of planning, technological innovation, and the dreams of those on board. On board were five individuals, Stockton Rush, the CEO of OceanGate, a visionary who had dedicated his life to deep-sea exploration and pushing the boundaries of underwater technology, Paul-Henri Narjolet, a renowned French diver and Titanic expert whose extensive knowledge of the shipwreck had made him a legend in maritime archaeology, British billionaire Hamish Harding, an adventurer with a passion for exploring the unknown, Pakistani businessman Shahzada Dawood and his 19-year-old son, Suleiman, who shared a deep bond and a mutual fascination with the mysteries of the deep sea. The submersible, designed to descend to depths of 13,000 feet, began its journey into the abyss. The crew, filled with a mix of excitement and trepidation, were eager to catch a glimpse of the legendary shipwreck that had captivated the world for over a century. Initial reports suggested a smooth descent, with the crew maintaining communication with the surface support vessel. The control room buzzed with activity as data streamed in, and the team monitored every detail of the dive with precision. However, less than two hours into the dive, communication with the Titan was abruptly cut off. The sudden loss of signal was unexpected and alarming, sending a wave of concern through the team. The sudden silence from the depths sent chills down the spines of those monitoring the mission. The control room, once filled with the hum of activity, felt eerily quiet as the team grappled with the gravity of the situation. Frantic attempts to re-establish contact with the submersible proved futile. As the minutes turned into hours and the hours into days, a grim reality began to set in. The crew's initial hope gave way to a growing sense of dread. The Titan, it seemed, had vanished into the vast expanse of the North Atlantic. The ocean, with its endless horizon, now felt like an insurmountable barrier between the surface and the lost submersible. 
a massive search and rescue operation was launched, involving multiple countries and a flotilla of ships and aircraft. The international community came together, pooling resources and expertise in a desperate bid to locate the missing submersible. The world held its breath, clinging to a glimmer of hope that the submersible and its crew might still be found alive. News updates were followed with bated breath, and the families and friends of those on board waited anxiously for any sign of a miracle. As the search for the missing submersible intensified, investigators from multiple agencies, including the U.S. Coast Guard and the National Transportation Safety Board (NTSB), began piecing together the events that led to the Titan's disappearance. Their focus quickly turned to the submersible's unconventional design and the materials used in its construction, particularly its carbon fiber hull. Carbon fiber, while known for its strength and lightweight properties, had never been used before in a submersible designed to reach such depths. Experts had previously raised concerns about the suitability of carbon fiber for deep-sea applications, citing its potential to crack or buckle under immense pressure. The investigation also revealed a history of technical issues and safety concerns surrounding the Titan. Former employees and industry experts came forward, alleging that OceanGate had cut corners and ignored safety protocols in its rush to get the submersible operational. One particularly damning revelation was the discovery of emails in which Tony Neeson, the lead engineer, had warned OceanGate CEO Stockton Rush about potential flaws in the submersible's hull. Neeson had urged Rush to conduct more comprehensive testing on the hull, but his concerns were reportedly